Okay, so we need to add one more key. And whilst I showed you how to recreate your border, I'd advise you at this point to delete it. It just makes it easier for you to create your second table. So click in some spare space. Go table. We're going to have it two columns wide and the number of rows depends on the number of different species you have. So at the moment I'm just going to do uh, four different species which means it's going to be five rows long. Again, click and drag so that we have a small area for our, our symbol and move the end of our table. So remember we need a heading. You know what to do by now, merge the cells, insert, again it's another key, but this time it is the species And now we're going to identify the different species we've got. Probably the easiest way to do this is just to use uh, letters. So for example, one of my species is blady grass. Notice I'm using title case again. So in here, I'm just going to use BG as my uh, symbols. One of the other one, uh, one of the other vegetation species I have is slender shade grass and I'm just going to call it SG. I've then got um, dandelions and I'm going to call that D. So I'm going to leave it there. Obviously you can complete that with all of the different types of species that you have. Again we're going to make sure that we have no text wrapping around our key and we should be able to click and drag it. It may move with respect to our other key but that's okay. Um, make sure that they are beside each other. Now if you wanted to you could make these look a little bit better. You can get rid of some of the lines but it's not necessary. I'll say that again it's not necessary. So you can see it looks a little bit neater this way. So what you do is you highlight the descriptors, you right click, borders and shading, and you just get rid of the lines in the middle, go OK, and it makes it look a little bit nicer. So from here we're going to actually put our information onto our vegetation profile, and that will be in the next video.